Hello, my name is Matt Slotten, and I'm our technical marketing engineering team here at Nutanix. In this quick video demonstration, we're going to take a look how we can export an HVVM in QCAL2 format to be imported or exported into another HV cluster or elsewhere. Now, this video is actually a little bit out of date because with the release of AOS 5.19, we can actually import and export OVA formatted images or packages directly from the Prism interface within Prism Central. However, if you're running an older version of AHV or you don't have Prism Central deployed, this video will show you how to do this via command line directly on the CVM. Let's take a quick look. All right, so I want to export this Commvault VSA VM. I'm going to make note of the storage container in which the VM resides. So I'm just going to copy this storage container name and just put it in Notepad for now. All right, so I'm going to launch PuTTY and SSH to my cluster. I'm just going to copy my VIP from my browser here. Paste it here. I'm going to log with the Nutanix user. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. So the first thing I do is I'm going to go ahead and enter a screen session. That way, if I get disconnected during the export, I can always reconnect. All right, so I've got screen enabled. Let's go ahead and do an ACL VM list. And we can see the VM UUID. Here's the VM I want to export. So I'm going to go ahead and do a get on that VM name. And what I'm looking for here is my disk list and then the VM disk UUID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and also paste this into Notepad. I'm going to need this here in a minute. So I'm going to use this chemu image convert command. So I'll make sure I paste this in the video description for reference. You see the format is raw and the output is QCAL2. I'm going to point to the image using NFS for the container here. And make sure I paste my VM disk UUID. And then this next NFS location is where I want to export to. So I'm just going to leave it in the default container and just name it Windows 2019 QCAL2. All right, so I'll hit enter. This will take a bit of time. I've sped it up here. But we've gone ahead and finished our export, so now I'll be able to grab that image using WinSCP. Leave it as SFTP, just the port number is going to change to 2222. I'm going to log in with my uh, Prism admin user. Accept my certificate warning there. Open my default container, and there's my image. So I can just copy this out and paste it onto my desktop. So as we just saw, it's relatively straightforward to export any HVVM in a QCAL2 image format using command line on the CVM. Now again, if you're running AOS 5.19 and have Prism Central deployed, you can do this all via the Prism interface in Prism Central. To see how to do that, be sure to check out additional videos on this channel where my colleague Brian Sir does a full video demonstration indicating how to do that. As always, thank you for watching.